don't don't worry about that. It's a long story. Just know I'm not flipping you off. It's hard being a pop punk and emo fan. It seems like every other month there's some kind of controversy or cancellation. I can't even listen to some of the bands that I grew up loving because some of the members just happen to be Satan. Brand new? Shame. Dance Gavin Dance? No Gavin, no. Lost Profits? We don't, we don't talk about Lost Profits. And I admit, I do believe in separating the art from the artist to a certain degree. Especially when it comes to a full band where every member might not be a monster. But can you separate the art from the artist when that artist is a murderer? What? What the f Hello and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I'm Trevor and I am eternally uncool. I make videos about music, music culture, and anything that interests me. But mostly music right now. So if that sounds like something you'd be into, then I highly recommend subscribing to the channel and watching the rest of this video. Over the last week or so, I've been seeing one of my favorite pop punk bands embroiled in a controversy. But this isn't your typical pop punk or emo controversy, no. No sketchy frontmans involving themselves with underage girls. No money laundering, no selling MacBooks. <laughs> no, this controversy is... Darker. It involves a band I like a lot, Water Parks. Am I the boy you dreamed of? Uh. when Water Parks is in the media, it's because frontman Austin Knight is being sassy. And what the fuck is my favorite color? Nope. It's diamond, because I'm a diva piece of shit. But not this time. Oh no, not this time. No, this time, the controversy comes in the form of drummer Otto Wood. Hey, do it, Otto. Apparently, Otto Wood is a serial killer. Da, da, da. Yeah, he was active in Texas in the early 2010s before joining Water Parks. The whole thing has been kept under wraps because Water Parks was getting so big. But now it's all over the internet. TikTok, Reddit, Twitter. The news is coming out, as it should. And fans don't seem to care. In fact, they're making jokes about it. Sick, sick jokes. jokes. You're all monsters. You're sick in the heads. This is a load of barnacles. Obviously, this isn't true. Otto Wood is not a serial killer. I think. But what even led to this controversy? I can't even do air quotes right. Let's find out together, shall we? Grab a drink, grab a snack, get comfortable, and let's get into the video. Nothing! As most of you know, Water Parks are a pop punk slash pop rock trio formed in 2011 in Houston, Texas, consisting of vocalist Austin Knight, guitarist Jeff Wigington, and drummer Otto Wood. Is there really no bass player in this band? What the fuck? Mikey Way. They combine pop punk with elements of electronica, hip-hop, a little bit of jazz. They've become a pretty big deal over the last decade. They have some really good albums and they always have interesting aesthetics. Otto Wood is actually the band's second drummer, replacing Owen Marvin in 2012. Now, did Otto murder Owen Marvin? Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Man. I can't seem to find Owen Marvin on social media, so I'm gonna say it's a strong possibility. For legal reasons, I have to say no, he, he didn't do it. When it comes to the trio, Austin is probably the most active on social media. He's very extroverted, and his posts are in all caps, so he's yelling them. He's a silly guy. He's a goofball. In contrast to that though, Otto is a very private person. I, I make it look like he's right here, right next to me. Otto keeps his life under wraps, probably because he's a serial killer. Wood said about social media, 
I try to stay off the internet because it's terrifying and I'm out of touch. But I did make a MySpace account. MySpace account, huh? Likely story. No, he's just a private guy. His Instagram handle is even Instagramless Auto. He has over 50k followers, me being one of them. But no posts and no profile picture. He's a private guy and I can respect that. So. Where does this whole serial killer thing come from? Apparently this is an in-joke between the band and the fandom and has been for quite a long time. They even mention it in the song Real Super Dark off of their 2023 album, Intellectual Property. But why? Why is this the joke? Is it the lack of a social media presence? The intensely private personal life? Those definitely play a part in it. As well as Austin just keeping the joke alive as much as he can. If Otto turns out to be a serial killer in like <laughs> six years, this is gonna age horribly. This could be on the front of the Netflix special. He's secretly Spider-Man. No. But I did some sleuthing and I found the true origins behind the Otto Wood is a serial killer joke. In the early 1900s, around the time of the Great Depression, there was a desperado named Otto Wood. And this guy was wild, let me tell you. He started his life of crime as a baby, pretty much. He stole a bike in his hometown in North Carolina and was sent to jail as a child. He was going to be forced to spend time on a chain gang. You know, a chain gang. But the foreman looked at this child and said, What the fuck? That's a child. Go home, child. At the age of seven, he hopped a train and went to live with relatives in West Virginia. Who were those relatives? Why, just the Hatfields of the Hatfields and McCoy feud. Ever heard of it? Probably not. I don't think I have a bunch of history buffs watching my pop punk YouTube channel. The Hatfields taught the young Otto how to gamble, make whiskey, and fight. I'm not flipping you off. I mean, that's the only education you need, am I right? Unsurprisingly, he was caught multiple times on counts of bootlegging and theft. He went to jail multiple times in multiple states. And this absolute mad lad broke out of jail 10 times. What a fucking unit. Then in 1923, Wood was charged with the murder of pawnbroker A.W. Kaplan. He was sentenced to 30 years in prison, which doesn't seem like a lot, but back then people only lived to like 45. But uh, he would escape four times. Who did they have guarding this prison? Chief Wiggum? Oh my God, it just disappeared. It's a ghost car. After his final escape attempt, Otto Wood was shot down by police on December 31st, 1930. New Year's Eve. Bummer. So, there you have it. Just a coincidence. Or is it? It is. Just two guys from different centuries who just happen to share the same name. I think this is a funny joke for the band to run with. It's not harming anyone, and it brings the fandom joy. It's a silly inside joke. Nothing more, nothing less. Or maybe, maybe that's what he wants us to think. What do you think? Are the rumors about Otto true? Let me know in the comments. That's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, then I highly recommend smashing that like button and sharing this video with everyone you know. I'm a small, independent channel, and every like, every comment, every share, any interaction with this video at all really goes a long way. With all that being said, thank you for watching. As always, I'm Trevor, stay on cool. And that's the end of the video, goodbye.